Hello everyone, welcome back to another Calamity video, and in this video I want to beat three bosses, those being Skeletron, Krabulon, and the Hivemind. Now Skeletron I just want to beat to get access to the dungeon, that's really all. Uh, he doesn't really drop anything that useful to me. Now Krabulon actually does drop useful stuff despite being a fairly early game boss. Um, he does drop some good weapons and armor and even a good accessory, so I'm very excited to defeat him. And then finally, the hive mind. I just want to beat to get some loot and also spawn an aerolite into the world. I have been practicing a lot against the hive mind recently, so I hope it will show in the fight. I also want to build a new NPC housing area that looks a lot better than this because this doesn't really look too good. So let's get into the video. Okay, so I did actually want to start out this video with the hive mind fight. Now, before we actually get into the fight, as you can see, we have our hive cyst here. It actually spawn in a pretty good location close to the arena. But I did want to explain something about the Alchemist NPC mod. Um, so basically, the Alchemist NPC mod uh, adds an Alchemist NPC and a couple other NPCs, but it also adds a bunch of weapons and also a couple gameplay features, but none that really affect the game that much. Um, so basically, the weapons that I got were pretty overpowered, and I'm not going to be using them anymore. I did have the Flask of the Alchemist, and it did a ton of damage and was really good, but it was a bit too overpowered for my taste. Because this is my first Calamity playthrough, I do want it to be, you know, as pure as possible. And as close to how you're supposed to play. Now, I do think the Boomerang is actually probably a better weapon here. Because I'm not using the Alchemist uh, NPC mod anymore, I did get the Seashell Boomerang and also a Yo-Yo from Victi Bars. And, you know, these weapons are still pretty good. They're just not nearly as good as the Alchemist NPC mods weapons. So this is actually pretty much my first time using these weapons. So I might be not as good as usual in this boss fight when it comes to the Hive Mind, at least. Because I have been practicing against this boss a lot. And uh, I've come to be able to predict his movements pretty well. Like, the first stage is pretty easy, it's just the mobs you have to watch out for. But in the second stage, he actually does a series of dashes and a bunch of other stuff that I've actually been able to predict pretty well in my past runs. So, we might actually get him to his second stage here. Yes, there we go. And on the second stage, I'm actually probably going to use the yo-yo. I think it's better. Yeah, the yo-yo seems to be doing pretty good for the second stage, at least. I actually did have Adrenaline for a second, what happened to it? I guess it runs out. I actually don't remember my hotkey for actually using the Adrenaline buff, so uh, I guess it doesn't matter that much. Okay, he hasn't spawned any mobs in a while, so we're, we're doing pretty well. <laughs> I always call the enemies mobs, just because I'm used to playing Minecraft. I actually haven't played Minecraft in a very long time at this point. I've been very into Terraria. Also a couple other games, but mostly Terraria. Because I did beat Terraria many times, you know, in my days. And Calamity is something completely different. It, it completely changes the game. I've been really loving that. Which is why I've been playing Terraria so much. These mobs are use spawning is very annoying. And I uh, might mess this up here. Alright. I do I do still have a health potion if I need it. Alright, there we go, I used it. I have been doing okay with dodges so far. Now I did take a couple hits, but um I think I have recovered from that. Now something I have noticed is that I think this boomerang actually has projectiles too. Yeah, when you're hitting when I'm hitting the boss, you can actually see little seashells, I imagine they are, that are actually coming from me and are hitting the boss. So that's another cool effect of the CIO. Also, the counter scarf mantra, I believe it's called. Um, I don't completely know the name, I think that's right, but basically it's the thing that allows me to dash. It's actually really good 
I think it allows me to dodge an attack and completely negate the damage every like 15 seconds or something like that. So it does do really well in boss fights. Whoa. I think I was hit by a worm there. Alright, let's go. That got no HP, yes. Let's go. Alright. Let's see what we actually got. Uh, so we did get paper tubes. Why, why can't I use them? I don't know. I'll have to uh, look at that later. Um, I got the Hive Mind Lore. A hive of clustered microbial infected flesh. Favorite with this item for all of your projectiles to inflict cursed flames when in the corruption. However, enemy spawn rates will be greatly reduced while in the corruption due to your overwhelmingly putrid odor. That's actually two positives. Because it usually has a positive effect and a negative effect, but this is two positives, which is great. I'm definitely going to use that. Let's actually just favorite this right now so we don't get attacked as much. Uh, I guess it's just a treasure bag. Boom. So we got a harvester part. Uh, some true shadow scales. Two different... What is this? It's a sword that just kind of launches little things. That's not very good. And also a little dagger that is also not very good. There's this glove. It's an accessory. Stealth strikes have plus 10 armor penetration and deal 10% more damage. Now, that's actually a rogue accessory, and I was planning on being a rogue class um, after the hive mind fight because the hive mind does spawn aerolite in your world underground, which does unlock a lot of new armor and um, weapons for the rogue class, and all classes really, but. The rogue class is definitely pretty good. And I did want to switch to that because it has a lot of damage and a decent amount of defense. And that's all I really had to hear. It also looks like it has some pretty cool weapons that uh, I'm looking forward to using. Okay, so I built a giant rope up into the sky to see if I could get any feathers from harpies that'll spawn. And uh, I, found, I found this floating island circle thing. I don't really know what this is. Looks like there's some gold here. Oh, there's another one. Is there a beehive in here? Wait, is there actually... That, that doesn't... Is that a chest? Is that a chest? Oh my gosh. Some potions? Increase life regen and increase max life by 25%. Reduces enemy aggro. Increases heart pickup range. Oh. While well, regen buffs and life force potions are disabled, I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't know if it's worth it or not. Oh my gosh, I didn't think. It's like a whole solar system up here. Okay, so that sky generation was pretty cool, um, but there are two things that I want to craft first. First of all, the skyline wings. Boom. I actually have a wing slot, so I can put them in there. And I got angry, plus 3% damage. That's pretty good. And then I also want to make... I can't make it. What am I missing? Fallen stars, maybe? I don't remember, but it was an enchanted axe of some sort. Um, I don't remember exactly what it was called. But let's see if it was fallen stars that I was missing. I'm guessing it is. I'll have to test out these wings as well. Yes, it was Fallen Stars. Okay, the Enchanted Axe. Now, this is supposed to be pretty good. It can also be upgraded multiple times as well. So, uh, let's test it out. Alright, that's pretty cool. It pierces like crazy, too. It's a very large range. It actually has a projectile, too. Let's actually test out these wings. They're actually pretty good. They're definitely... They're a lot better than the boots the uh, Frostbark boots that I have, and they also negate fall damage, so I'm uh, very happy about that. Okay, so this is gonna sound kind of dumb, but I accidentally beat Skeltron. Basically what happened was I was going to, you know, get some practice in before I recorded the clip for my video on that fight, and I got him to low health, and I was like, okay, I'll let him kill me now, so it's my first time beating the boss on camera. Well, it turns out my summons do a little bit more damage than I thought, and they actually killed the boss. So long story short, I now have access to the dungeon, and Skeletron is dead. So I'm probably not going to record any clips in the dungeon. If I do, they're just going to be time lapses, because I think the dungeon's kind of boring and repetitive. 
Uh, unless something exciting is going to happen in the dungeon, then you probably won't see very many clips on the dungeon. I was also going to build a better NPC housing area, but I think I'm just going to do that off camera. I don't even think it's an um, exciting time lapse, so probably in the intro next video you'll see it. And also the Enchanted Axe. You know, I already showed you this weapon, but the projectile is actually home. I didn't know that, I just recently found that out I thought I would share. That just makes the Enchanted Axe even better. And I also got a new rogue weapon called the Turbulence. It's basically uh, a javelin weapon. The projectiles that come off of it don't home. They only home on stealth attacks. So it's kind of cool, it's good for direct damage. But I don't think it's as good as the Enchanted Axe. And I had something else I wanted to say. Oh yeah, the I got the Aerospec Armor. I got the Rogue Set. If you want to read the stats, you can. Uh, it would take way too long for me to read it on camera, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, but yeah, that's all I had to say. Let's go defeat Crabulon. Okay, so this glowing mushroom biome that I'm going to use to fight Crabulon in is kind of small, but Crabulon is an early game boss, so I think I should be fine. If you didn't know, Crabulon's a giant crab that spawns in uh, when you use this little mushroom thing, and it has to be fought in a mushroom biome. So, let's just spawn him in. Alright, he's up there. Let's uh, use the stealth attack of my new axe. Oh, looks like they don't home. I assumed they would home. Yeah, Krabuon's music is amazing. I just wanted to say that. Um, probably one of my favorite boss fighting music soundtracks. Hmm, I'm not in a good spot right here. Yeah, this mushroom biome is a little too small for my liking. I might go down to the larger one, which is closer to the underworld. I'll just pop a heal just in case. I shouldn't need it, but uh, you never know when things might go downhill fast. Whoa. Alright, easy. So I got some magnum browns. I still haven't figured out what those are actually used for. And then the treasure bag. I'm actually going to just spawn in another one. And then we'll look at the loot. I wish I had a little more flight time on my wings. That would just be nice. So I'm actually using my turbulence now. I'm trying to see what, which one has higher DPS. Uh, the enchanted axe by far has higher DPS. Oh, looks like since it actually pierces, you can hit him more than once with one swing of the axe. Alright, two more seconds till heal. Whoop, there's a little bit of a lag spike there. And of course he died where I can't reach the, bat the loot. Okay. So uh, let's actually open the treasure bags now. Boom. Oh, okay, that's a lot more loot than I thought. Oh, a rogue weapon. Does 25, 24 damage. What are you? Oh my gosh, this, this has such high attack speed. All right, well, let's actually go up to the surface. Let's uh, test this thing out. Oh, very short range. At short range, this thing is insane, though. Alright, well that's good. What is this? Permanently makes Rage Mode do 15% more damage. Is it consumable? Alright, well I just used it, so now Rage has a buff. This Fungal Clump is an accessory, I'm pretty sure, right? And it summons this little guy that actually latches onto enemies and gives you life steal. So this is actually one of the main reasons I wanted to defeat Krabulon, because this thing is actually pretty good. What else did I get? This lore... Uh, I'm not gonna read it out loud, so just if you wanna look at it, you can. Okay, Shroomerang. More rogue damage. Nice. Alright, this thing does, uh... More damage, I think? No, less damage than the other weapon. It doesn't pierce. And it's kinda slow. So it's not too great, but uh, it's good to have, I guess. What is this? I'm guessing this is a pet? 
I guess we'll see what it's like. It's okay, you can... Actually, I kind of like it. You can barely see it, though. What do we got here? The claws? Oh my gosh. That's certainly some melee damage right there. I'm probably going to use this as my main melee weapon. Did I open both? I only opened one bag. This boss gives so much stuff. Okay, uh... There's also this thing. Mm -hmm. This is kind of cool. It's a ranged weapon, so not really super useful to me. Sounds like a grenade launcher. And I look at this. I didn't. This guy just so many weapons. Oh, I've seen this before. Yeah, this is actually really cool. It doesn't do very much damage, but all these little things all like explode on contact with enemies. It's pretty cool. Alright, now let's open the other bag. Some harvester parts. Uh, can't tell what is new. This shroomerang is flawless, I think it is? Yeah, flawless, so it does a lot more damage and stuff. That's actually a really good reforge. What else? This is the same thing we already tested. I think maybe every treasure bag gives the same amount of stuff. Oh wait, we can actually check the uh, boss checklist. So I got this thing. Loot and collection. Okay, yeah, so we got everything. That's cool. Alright, well I think this is going to be the end of the video. Remember to like, subscribe if you did enjoy, and I hope to see you in the next Calamity video. Bye everyone! Hello everyone, welcome back to another Calamity video, and in this video I would- Is that traveling merchant just rain from the sky?